we are um, going to talk about the symposium, but before we do that, uh, as a customary, what we do is we recite the uh, Holy Quran a few verses. It's about just a little over a minute or so. <laughs> All right, everybody, well, welcome again. Uh, we're very glad that you're here. Uh, this is the first ever, I guess, um, um, a symposium of this nature. Uh, so we are going to talk about uh, this symposium is essentially, we'll tell you what we are offering, what we have it on the table for you. Uh, all the students, uh, different educational programs, of course, and also tell you as to who we are or who are we or who the hell are we, as they uh, say it sometimes. All right, we move on to um, the, the program the, that we have, the symposium schedule. Um, before I get into uh, the details of the, of the program, which all of you have it, uh, so no need to uh, specifically um, go into each point over here. Uh, each topic, but let me tell you something interesting. Uh, combined over here in the faculty that you see on the schedule over here is 800 years of cumulative experience. 800 years of cumulative experience. So there's a lot of experience uh, uh, right here in this symposium. And 700 years of teaching experience alone. Uh, so a lot of uh, good teachers and experienced teachers. And of course, uh, since this is all about aviation, we also have amongst us 40,000 hours of flying experience. Uh, that's a lot, lot of hours. <clears throat> well, let me just show you some of the pilots. We're also the faculty members and uh, aeronautical engineers who are with us. Uh, all of them are highly experienced senior citizens. Um, we have uh, uh, myself, Captain Hadi, uh, Air Commodore Tanvir, Air Commodore Tariq, um, Captain Amin Desai. Uh, we have uh, Professor Wali Durrani, uh, Brigadier Farooq, and of course, uh, uh, three engineers, uh, Engineer Zafrullah, um, Engineer uh, Ziaul Haq, and Dr. Bilal. Most of these, in fact, all of these are foreign qualified, uh, the masters and above. Uh, I would, I would uh, like to mention Dr. Bilal is one of the uh, leading engineers, uh, aeronautical engineers in the country. He's also part of our team. <clears throat> also with us, not only that, we have ex experienced teachers. We have Professor Moise Sabuala. We have uh, aviation security specialist, uh, Colonel Navid. 
who is uh, the only IQ qualified trainer in the country. Uh, we have air airline strategist, uh, Mr. Aziz Siddiqui, uh, 40 plus years, 43 years of uh, airline uh, experience at the management uh, domain uh, of, the, of the airlines planning and, uh, and, and so on. And we have uh, entrepreneur, um, one of the leading entrepreneurs of the, of the country, Dr. Nazir Bayad. Um, we have another young uh, teacher, uh, Sana Zamir. Um, and so this is just to give you a, a fair idea as to uh, what uh, we are composed of, what kind of teachers and what kind of experiences behind this institution. <clears throat> Um, we will uh, move on uh, to, to give you very briefly as to what is the objective of this symposium. You can see on the slide, uh, our objective is to make participants aware of some of the aspects of aviation management, travel, and tourism you will see that we want to discuss over here workshops, certificate courses, degree programs that will follow the symposium. And of course, uh, this is also an open house. So the educational programs uh, we are running is uh, first is uh, I think most important thing to, to mention is uh, you, everybody knows that aviation is not uh, local, it is, it is global. So until and unless you have an international educational program linked with your program, um, you're really nowhere. So um, I think uh, it's a blessing that we have with us Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and one of the very senior and uh, important uh, directors of the professional education training is with us today. And he's going to talk about the programs that we have run over here, as well as some of the programs which are on the way. Uh, and the domestic educational programs, which you're going to talk a little later, but just to give you a, a very brief overview, we have a degree program that's coming up in fall. Uh, we have a certificate program, a diploma program, and a number of workshops. Um, also, um, I think it is pertinent to, uh, to tell everybody that uh, uh, it would be, there's no competition with uh, Embry-Riddle because Embry-Riddle is a, is a high class, more expensive, but obviously a global value add uh, for those who can afford it. But for those who cannot, uh, we have um, relatively um, smaller programs, cheaper programs, but yet uh, it is something to get into the industry. So with that, I think I would uh, um, hand it over to Eric. Uh, Eric Leong, uh, if you could uh, take over the presentation from here, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Eric. Yes. Okay. So good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Eric Leung, and I manage the professional in education and training department in Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Asia campus, which is based in Singapore. My department started in 2017 with the sole mission of bringing affordable training to countries in Asia. And we do this through partnerships and to keep the costs down we use online synchronous training so for those of you who are not familiar online synchronous means that the instructor is there at the same time that the student logs in the alternative to online synchronous is online asynchronous which means that the instructor will log in probably 12 hours later because of the time difference with the us so we prefer to do online synchronous most of the training will be broadcast from Singapore or within Asia. Now, our partners 
we have uh, we work with partners in different countries, and our representative in Pakistan is Dr. Wali Mukni from the Aviation Institute of Management. Here are the programs that we have available as uh, short courses, what we call not for credit short courses. So first of all, we'll go to the website. I'll go to the website right now. So this is the website, professional education pro at dot e r a u dot e d u so here from here we normally click on all courses and you can select the course based on the subject area so we have all the courses you know in a very wide spectrum and you can see all the different areas here now, a lot of these courses are online asynchronous. Some of them are online synchronous. The courses that we run from Asia, from our Asia campus, if you click on courses by location, and then you scroll down to the bottom and you can see Asia. That's, by the way, that's a picture of Singapore. So here are the courses that we run from our Asia campus. So first you can see the upcoming courses that are shared with, and then all the available courses from A to Z. Okay. So for instance, right now we are doing the aviation applied finance program. We'll click on that. That is running right now. You can see the learning objectives who should attend, and the session detail, view full schedule. And you can see all the schedules there. Now, the time that I have put here in the website is uh, Singapore time. Singapore is three hours ahead of Pakistan. So here are the dates, Saturday, April 4th, then April 11, 18 and 25. So it's 1 p.m. and that will be Pakistan 10 a.m. Right, and then the instructor will be listed below as well. So this is basically how we re uh, retrieve, get information on the courses available. We have run for Pakistan since 2018. We have run a few programs. So first of all, it was a international aviation management course. That was a 40 hours course. We ran it over eight Saturdays, I think, and uh, it was like five hours per session. So that was quite well received. We followed that up with airline management, also another 40 hours program, also run in a series on Saturdays, Saturday mornings for you, Saturday afternoons for us. Now, these programs are Asia focused. So that means all the examples that we look at, all the workshops, all the discussions will be focusing on Asia aviation. Now, of course, we are an American university. Um, however, the things that we do here in Asia might be slightly different. So instead of looking at, let's say, uh, an airport in Dallas, Texas, we will be looking at an airport in the region. Okay, So that is how our programs are all structured. We have after the first two programs of 40 hours each, we launched our graduate certificate in aviation. Now, this graduate certificate in aviation is totally modeled after our MBA in aviation. All of the topics that you see here, sorry, let me say that again. All of the courses that you see here are the same courses from our MBA in aviation and in most cases, the instructor is the same instructor that is teaching the same course in our MBA program. The graduate certificate in aviation consists of eight courses. Each course is 20 hours that we split over four sessions on Saturdays, starting from 10 a.m. Pakistan time. So we started it in August last year. 
And this program will complete in June this year, right? So we have so far run airport management, strategic marketing management, air carrier passenger and cargo management, production and procurement management, global logistics and supply chain management, applied economics in aviation. Right now, we're running aviation applied finance and in the beginning of June, 6th of June specifically, we will start running our final course that is the managing human factors. Now, some of you may have joined this course, uh, I'm sorry, some of you may have joined this program towards the end. Not to worry, we are going to run this graduate certificate in aviation again, starting in July 2020 and ending in June 2021. Now, um, as I have previously mentioned, this program will be run completely online synchronous. So it doesn't matter where you are, as long as you have Wi-Fi, you have a laptop or a PC, um, at the appropriate time, we can log in and then you will be able to see the lecturer giving the lectures as what we're doing now, let's say. And you can ask questions, it will be interactive. And uh, it will be just like in a classroom environment, except that we won't have to travel. So that's what we are planning for July 2020 onwards. That's the first program. Now, right now, I'm working with ICAO, they are Train Air Plus, to bring two additional courses. That's the Airport Wildlife Management. This is a 24 hours course, as well as Airport Wildlife Operations. This is a 16 hours course. Now, so far, we have been working with IKEO APAC. Last year, they had an Airport Wildlife Hazard working group event and uh, we have shared our courses with them and they have asked that we schedule our course together with their event, all right? So, and that's how this uh, these two courses uh, evolved. So it is very, very specific to the flora and the fauna of Asian airports. We can go into more details of the flora and fauna for different countries and different regions, obviously, because Asia is so wide. We are planning, right now I'm working on getting it certified as a Trainer Plus course. We expect that we will get the Trainer Plus certification by September timeframe, hopefully. And in October of this year, we should be able to schedule it as online synchronous courses. The next course we have is Corporate Strategic Auditing. Now, this is actually a course that is for business studies students, formulating ethical, sustainable business strategy in the aviation industry. The decisions that you will make as managers in aviation companies, how should they be based on? So this is covered in this course. It is a 40 hours course. Now we have scheduled it in June and I will put the schedule up on the website shortly in August as well as in November, all right? Then we also will have a relative, relatively long program called the Advanced Management and Leadership Program. It is 168 hours. When we run it as a face-to-face -face program, it's actually 21 days. So this program, we will need to schedule it probably over a period of at least six months to nine months for this advanced management and leadership program. And then finally, we have a short course, Ethics for Business Sustainability. This is a 24 hours, three days program. Now, these last two courses that we have, we will be scheduling it from August of this year onwards. If you have any questions on our programs, that you see on our website for all the short courses and so on, please do contact Dr. Wally. He is our Embry-Riddle alumni and he is our representative in Pakistan. And that's it for me. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Uh, this was uh, wonderful. I'm sure everybody uh, gained a lot of information that they were looking for. 
So a lot of new courses coming up and uh, hopefully uh, we would have some more candidates who can benefit from this, um, this program or these programs. Uh, right now, um, let me give me a second. I'll switch over to the presentation. Yeah, I want to talk about now um, something which is, um, again, um, I would say absolutely uh, brand new. Uh, this is this program is called CABA. Uh, it's a certificate in aviation business administration. And uh, this is a, just a four month certification course for those guys who have just uh, done their high schooling and uh, they want to uh, um, enter into college, but they cannot. A lot of people could not get admissions because of the situation as well as um, the number of uh, good colleges are limited. So I would suggest, uh, I, would, I, would, I would recommend that uh, this is something that you can also pass this information on to uh, others that you know so that they can benefit from this. Um, the subjects that we're gonna talk about is introduction to aviation six credit hours. Introduction to Aviation Business Administration, just like the, the similar to the courses that we do uh, in, in, in college and uh, universities at the initial stages. And uh, Grooming and Presentation Skills Development. This is three credit hours. Uh, remember, it's, it's just um, uh, dedicated to presentation skills and grooming. And then the second one, which is a complementary uh, course, which is the next one, is the English Language and Communication Skills. That's six credit hours. Uh, we believe that for managers and for leaders and, uh, and specifically in the aviation industry, this is something which is absolutely important and critical uh, to, to move ahead on, uh, in the ladder, in their career ladder. Uh, mathematics and statistics is something, it's the mother of all subjects as they say. Uh, this is something that we're gonna talk about it also. Uh, timings, et cetera, all, all those things are, are, are uh, uh, you know, morning hours and uh, five days a week. Uh, this is something that is going to be uh, covering a total of 1296 hours, very, very extensive, uh, elaborate and uh, very thorough immersive course. Something that uh, is really going to benefit the students when they get into the universities after this, uh, they will be head and shoulders above everybody else. That's, that's our objective. Total credit hours that they're going to earn is about 27. Uh, we have, uh, you know, the fees is very, very nominal. It's just 5,000 per month, uh, rupees. And of course, registration fee is uh, 1,000 non-refundable. Uh, we believe that we want to pay real good attention to, to people who join in. So the seats would be limited. We'll not take hundreds or, or more than, more than uh, that. We, what, what we can handle, we're going to do that. So that's why the seats are limited. Like I said, the uh, level one and level two, uh, level one is those um, um, students who are likely to, or who are about to finish their uh, matriculation or 10th uh, grade level. And those who have done their 12th grade or intermediate would be uh, available, uh, will be eligible to get into the level two. Other than this, uh, we have, um, a few workshops, which we're going to uh, talk about it during the day. Today and tomorrow, we have some certificate programs, both, of course, embryos and, of course, local certificates. The local certificate would be just by Aviation Institute of Management. And when we have the certificate programs from Embry-Riddle, um, we are, of course, collaborating and facilitating that. So it's essentially the embryo sends us those certificates and it is uh, distributed to um, the candidates who have successfully um, passed the test. Uh, degree programs are running. They are um, also, uh, we'll continue with that. And later during the, the uh, session, we're gonna talk more in detail about an aviators program, um, which is also something uh, highly uh, unique and interesting.